Hey guys, this is Preeti Vyas from Preeti Vyas Galeria. I'll be painting window view urban illustration today. Supplies that I would be using today are um, water spray, Art Philosophico Classics palette, silver black round velvet size 8 brush and a wash brush, pencil, eraser, paper towel and a water jar. And we'll be painting it on Ayush paper 270 GSM urban sketching book. I've done a couple of my paintings here and these are the ones so let's get started already I'm only sketching a brief outline here for my reference and if you want to go directly about on the paper you can also do that I am just darkening my outline it is perfectly okay to darken your outlines because they seem to fade away once uh, you add colors on them You don't have to go about um, sketching each and every details but it's okay to just do whatever you're comfortable with. I am now starting to mix my paints here. I have chosen dark blue, um, black and a bit of purple. You can use any color of your liking for the door. The white caps in between are to give a realistic look of the door and I'm gradually increasing the value of the color. The darker your color is, the darker the value. I'm trying to keep my color a bit subtle over there which is also lighter value. I'm just blending and adding uh, darker values wherever needed. I'm using black for the shadows of the door. Here I'm taking a clean damp brush without any paint and just trying to blend in the colors. clean damp brush for blending again you can always use your tissue papers to remove the excess paint I'm going for warm colors for bright and vibrant flowers hence I've chosen red I'm taking a little bit of red mixed with excessive water and using lazy stippling method Lazy stippling method is nothing but a little bit of color with excessive amount of water and just dabbing onto your paper randomly. It helps create blurry texture onto the paper. Also here I'm trying to blend the color using a clean damp brush. Now I'm taking a little bit of purple to add more flowers using different colors. You can always use the colors of your liking. splattering some colors here and there they make your artworks look um, creative and artistic You 
have the liberty to blend how many other colors you want. Here I'm using green for the leaves. For the darker value, you can add a little bit of black. Here I personally wanted to give a darker value for the flowers and so I mixed up a little bit of red and black. My palette doesn't have a um, burnt sienna shade and so I had mixed up a little bit of dark brown, red and grey. Here I'm using a clean damp wash brush to give a more blurry look. For rusty look, I generally mix up a little bit of green, black and blue. It is also okay to mix up just a little bit of green and blue as well. For the background, I'm trying to stick with the colors that actually give more realistic look. You can always use wet on dry technique for sharp details. I'm trying to create a shadow here. The walls outdoors generally do have rustic colors in it so I'm just trying to stick on to being more realistic as possible. White and black shades are generally used for highlights and here I'm using white jelly roll pen for final highlights. And we are finally done. Hope you all liked watching this tutorial. Kindly like, share and subscribe Ayush Paper. See you all.